All right, now welcome to the first question in thermal expansion. Okay, the figure above shows two metal rods, one steel and the other aluminium, are clamped on one end. At zero degrees Celsius, the rods are at are each 30 cm and separated by a 0 0.03 cm at their unfastened end. So we can see both rods, they are fastened. Uh, they are clamped at one end, but there's another end yeah, of each rod that is there's not clamped. Yeah? Um, and the, the, the unfastened end, uh, they are separated by 0 0.03 cm. Here it says 0 0.3 mm. Is this the same? Yeah, actually this one uh, is the same. Yeah, this do two things. Okay. Um, um just differ by unit yeah these two things is the same if you look at it uh 0 0.030 0 cm is the same as 0 0.3 mm is it yeah of course because we know that um cm if uh, cm change to mm is just um uh, times 10 okay uh, 1 cm is 10 millimeter, isn't it? 1 cm is 10 millimeter, so that means times 10. Yeah, you still uh, you will get 0 0.3 mm. So this these two is the same. Yeah, these two is the same. Okay, so these two rod they are separated. Maybe we just use the mm lah. Yeah, maybe we just stick with the mm. Okay, uh, we can ignore this one. We just use this one. Okay, between these two rod. There is, there is a gap. There is a gap of 0 0.3 mm. Okay, there is a gap of 0 0.3 mm. The coefficient of linear expansion for steel and aluminium are uh, 11 and 24 with the same exponent negative 6 uh, per degree Celsius. Yeah, determine at what temperature will the rods just come into contact. Okay, that means. Uh, these rods will come into contact because they expand. Uh, they expand. Why they expand? Because they are being heated up. Uh, they are being heated up. Uh, these two rods are being heated up. And so they will expand. So uh, co uh, looking at their coefficient of linear expansion, uh, li coefficient of linear expansion, this is called the alpha. Yeah, this is alpha. That means... A coefficient of linear expansion is actually the ability of the material to expand. Yeah, so we have steel and aluminium. Uh, seems that the aluminium has a bigger alpha. That means aluminium expand faster compared to steel. Uh, aluminium expand faster compared to steel. So we can say that uh, when they are heated to a higher temperature, the aluminium will expand. Uh, will expand. Uh, and then the, the, the steel rod also will expand. The steel rod by expand slower. I will expand. Uh, so, so that means the total, exp uh, the total uh, expansion, yeah, this total expansion, this thing, the, the expansion, uh, the expansion, uh, the expansion of aluminium plus expansion of steel will be equal to 0 0.3 mm. Uh, okay, and uh, what is the zero degree Celsius? Zero degree Celsius is seems like the initial temperature. Uh, it seems like the initial temperature. Uh, and the thirty cm for both. Uh, initially they have the same length. Uh, so this is the initial length. Thirty cm is the initial length. Yeah, they uh, the these rods each are thirty cm. So initially they have the same length. So yes. I have uh, separated the information into two columns, one for steel, another for aluminium. I found this, uh, separate, separate the data by column, uh, is very systematic. You should follow my way. You should follow my way, arrange your data into different columns, uh, yeah, according to the types of object. Understand? So one type of object, like steel, one column, and then aluminium at another column. So whatever information for steel, you just put at one column. Whatever information for aluminium, you just put at one column. Okay? Uh, so I already have the steel. Steel I label as one. 
uh, yeah, uh, easy. I put as one, so uh, the one become the subscript. Instead of just always write the subscript as still, 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 yeah, it just uh, waste your time. Yeah, so I label the steel as one. I label the aluminum as two. Okay, so for the steel, the initial length is thirty cm. Uh, I change to you meter SI unit. The initial temperature for this initial length, the initial temperature for this initial length thirty cm is zero degrees Celsius. Yeah, it begin with zero degrees Celsius, and then uh, the alpha alpha for steel. Yeah, that's why I put alpha one. I don't put alpha steel. You want to write the steel? I don't. I I I I I tak sanggup. Huh? I just put alpha one. Uh, alpha one is um, eleven exponent negative six uh, per degree Celsius. Okay, and then for aluminium, it also have the same length thirty cm at the same initial temperature zero degree Celsius. Uh, change to meter. And then the alpha, the coefficient of linear expansion for aluminium, I put as alpha two. I put as alpha two instead of alpha aluminium. Okay, alpha two is more sim, looks more simple. Alpha two is equal to twenty four exponent negative six per degree Celsius. Okay, uh, so this is for steel and this is for aluminium. So from here I can see aluminium has a bigger alpha. That means aluminium. Uh, expand faster compared to steel. Steel expands slower. Okay, that means we can say uh, after certain temperature, aluminium will expand more compared to steel. Uh, steel will expand less. Yeah, it will expand less. Okay, so how to find this temperature when they come into contact? Uh, so at the final temperature, that means when both both of them heated up until the final temperature both rods will come into contact when the expansion for steel the expansion for steel which is the delta l1 uh, plus the expansion for aluminium delta l2 is equal to the gap between them 0 0.3 mm isn't it uh, just now i said the steel expand the green one the aluminium also expand and the red one. So this is the green one plus the red one. The expansion, uh, the delta L one plus delta L two will be equal to the gap, which is zero point three mm, uh, when they come into contact, isn't it? Uh, they come into contact when the expansion for steel plus the expansion for aluminium equal to the gap. Uh, yeah. So zero point three mm is the total. Uh, total expansion for both metal. Yeah, we can say it is the total expansion of both metals. Uh, I think I'm clear already. Yeah, zero point three mm. The gap. This is the gap. Uh, when they they come into contact, when the total expansion of both metals equal to the gap. Okay. Now. Expansion delta L is equal to alpha L not delta T. Uh, this is the formula. Okay, so I apply this formula alpha L not delta T for both one and two. So I get uh, okay, I just continue. So uh, delta L1 is alpha, alpha 1, L not, uh, they have the both steel and aluminium. Uh, both have the same initial length, it's 30, 30. So I just put L0. Okay, and then delta T. Uh, delta T, uh, delta T. Okay. Uh, and then uh, plus the, and then this is alpha 2, L0, delta T also. Okay. Uh, and then, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you just put a bit, a bit further away. Yeah, for the way. So zero point three mm, I change to meter. Yeah, I better change to SI unit. Zero point three, uh, milli is negative three. Milli is negative three. Okay. Now, uh, for alpha one, okay, just put in the value eleven. The steel is eleven negative six. Um, L not change to meter. This zero point three mm. Uh, no, zero point three meter. And then what's the change in temperature? Change in temperature? Yeah, initial temperature is uh, cold. 
Uh, this one is different from heat conduction. Huh? Uh, this one is you, you start with the coal and then you heat it up to a higher temperature. Heat it up, become hot. Uh, when it's hot, it become, it, uh, the rod expands, isn't it? So the, it is the final minus initial. Uh, the final is hot minus coal. Yeah, the final is hot. So uh, yeah, the final is T. We want to find the final temperature minus the initial temperature zero. Okay. Uh, plus okay, alpha two is uh, twenty four exponent uh, negative six, and then uh, the initial length zero point three, and then the final temperature is uh, yeah. We want to find the final temperature. Okay. Uh, minus zero initial temperature is zero equal to the gap uh, equal to the gap yeah that's it yeah this one is in meter uh, okay so next we can find the final temperature the final temperature and the final temperature is 28.57 i already find found ready yeah 28.57 okay uh, so um that's, that's it, yeah. This is temperature when the gap is being filled by by both expansion of metals. Yeah. So um yeah, yeah. So this is the temperature when they come into contact. The both rod come into contact at this temperature. Okay. Um so uh basically what I want to say is um uh for for thermal expansion for thermal expansion, delta T. Uh, 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 when you heat it up, when you heat up the object like this, uh, so it is always the hot minus cold. Yeah, different from heat conduction. Heat conduction is cold minus hot. Yeah, because that one is a uh, heat flow from hot to cold. Uh, this one is expansion. You uh, heat it up from cold to hot. So the final is hot. Uh, hot minus cold. Uh, uh, when you use the the final minus the initial. Yeah? Initial is cold. Initial is cold. You heat it up, become hot temperature. So uh, the final is hot. So change the temperature means the hot minus cold. Okay, uh, that's the difference. So uh, that's it for these questions. Uh, the, you can remain, the change in the temperature, you can remain using the degree Celsius. You can use degree Celsius, no need to change the Kelvin. That's about the change of temperature. Okay, so I hope you understand about this. So, uh, see you in the second problem in thermal expansion. See you!